Dan, I just wonder what your initial reaction was to Jonathan and Christopher Nolan's screenplay when you, when you read that for the first time. That's possible. <laughs> you know, you just, you don't imagine. This is the sort of stuff that, it's pure imagination, but it also defies imagination. Um, I was so pleased that how, not easy, but how um, logical and, and, they, and the physics was. I thought they did a great job of making that as understandable as possible. And the thing that I was so excited about was that it was going to be a big deal Hollywood movie that's about a human emotional relationship at the center. I couldn't believe the way, how well they, they pulled that off. That felt nuanced and well observed. And um, I, you know, I, I don't know what's more compelling about this film, the space travel or a father-daughter relationship. Luckily we get both. And Dr. Brand has a beautiful speech about love at one point, doesn't she? She what, does. What do you think it is about sort of outer space and space exploration that brings us kind of back to look at ourselves? I don't know. I'm sorry, that's a great question. Yeah. Stump me. Um, if I had to, you know, when pressed, I think that it, when we go, the further out there we go, that's as far as a human being has, has gone and you're only bringing yourself with you, all that you are, all that we hope to be. And yet, the part of ourselves that we connect to and we imagine as our best selves, we imagine as being out there, is coming from out there. And I don't know where that comes from and where, because that seems to be pretty ancient within us. Um, so I don't know. This greater minds than mine certainly have tried to tackle that one. So I don't, I, and, I'm, and I'm jet lagged right now, so and under caffeinated, so I'm not sure how you're going to get a good answer this morning if you would have ever answer. gotten no, one. I would, but I, thank you. I really went with that. It's beautiful. Um, I greatly admire Christopher Nolan's commitment to in camera and practical effects yes. uh, where possible. What's that like for you as an actor, and especially going to locations like Iceland? Yeah, I love it. Um, you know, I, I find that as an actor, you sort of have to be able to do it, it all. So I don't want to express too much of a preference for it, you know, over green screen because, or blue screen, because you have to be able to do all of it. But um, just as it, uh, just in terms of film enjoyment, you're gonna enjoy it so much more when you have memories of it. I mean, the other day somebody was like, what was the thing that surprised you most about the ship? And I said, we had to put Velcro on everything. And it made sense, of course, but it's not something you would think about, but everything's floating in space. You can't just like leave a pen or put a pen down on your desk. You have to Velcro it to the side of whatever monitor you're working with. And just little details like that I found so so captivating and memorable. There's a really compelling dynamic between um, Dr. Brown and Cooper, Matthew McConaughey's character. What's he like to be around on set? I imagine he's quite a kind of calming person to, to be with. He is, he's the best, man. He's so wonderful to work with because He's chill, he takes it seriously. He has so many great stories. Just, he's somebody, you know, he's lived a life. He's traveled all over the world and not just traveled and looked at things, but like lived with people and lived in experiences. He, um, he's incredibly intelligent without lording it over you. Super easy to talk to and big football fan. I am a big football fan, so. We always had a lot to talk about there, but I mean, I just can't say enough nice things about him. He's really, truly one of the greatest. Which team won football? And is there a, is there he's a UK a, one? He's a, is there a what? Is there a British one that you've... Not yet, not yet, but um, but more as, but they've started to play American football games in Wembley Stadium. I think there've been two this season thus far, so maybe there could be a UK team, I don't know. So his team, uh, he supports Washington. I support the Giants and the Chargers because I keep it by coastal. Anne Hathaway, thanks very much. Thank you very much. Great to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!